When you open Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007, you'll see a major change to the look of it in the top portion of the window. A wide band with groups of commands has replaced the earlier design of menus and toolbars. The wide band is called the ribbon, and it's something like a dashboard. It displays the commands you need and keeps them in front of you. On the ribbon, the commands you use the most are organized on a tab called the Home tab. These commands support the things you do most frequently. For example, copy and paste, add slides, make formatting changes to text, apply list formatting, work with shapes, and find and replace text. Clearly though, all the commands you need as you create a presentation won't fit onto one tab. So, along with the Home tab, there are others. Each tab has commands that support a type of work. So, click the Insert tab to add a table, picture, shape, diagram, or chart to a slide, as well as a hyperlink, text box, header or footer, and other things. What about the slide's background design and color scheme? Click the Design tab, where you find design themes. When you point to a theme, you see its preview on the slide. Click the More button to see the full gallery. Customize the theme if you want to by choosing different theme colors, fonts, or a background. To animate text, such as this title, click the Animations tab and apply an effect such as Fade or Wipe. Note that you get a preview of the effect just by pointing at it. For more control over animation effects, use the range of options in Custom Animation. Transition effects are plentiful too. Hover to see an effects preview. Using the Slideshow tab, create timings for the show or record narration for it. Click Set Up Slideshow for other options. On the Review tab, you'll find the Spelling Checker, Research Service, and reviewing features. Want to comment about your text? Click New Comment to insert a comment. And now all the views you're used to seeing are laid out in front of you on the View tab. By the way, the buttons to switch views are still available too on the lower right part of the window. Now let me tell you about other types of tabs. These appear on the ribbon only to support certain tasks. For instance, when you click a shape or text placeholder, you have a tab available with formatting commands just for the shape or placeholder. This type of tab is called a contextual tab. When you place the cursor outside the placeholder or shape, the tab disappears from view. You'll see more of these as you work with PowerPoint 2007. Now I'll open another presentation I'm working on and do more with it. How do I open it? By clicking this, called the Microsoft Office button. Notice here many of the commands that were on the old file menu, plus others. On the right is the list of recently used files. I want the company overview, so I click it. The Home tab is displayed, ready for use if I want to add more slides and text. I'll type the company name and then make it bold. Nothing new about that. Bold, as I'd expect, is available right here with other formatting buttons. On slide 2, I'd like to add one more item to the list. How do I make room for it? First, I'll select the placeholder around the text. Then I'll decrease the space between lines. Line spacing is right here, in the paragraph group. That's nice. This command used to take more mouse clicks to find. Now I can type another item comfortably. I need to add a new slide. Here's what I want. Click the arrow and I get choices for a slide layout. I'll be creating an org chart. So I'll pick this slide layout, which lets me insert a graphic. There's the new slide. The icons in this layout allow me to insert something directly by clicking one of them. Org chart layouts are part of the new Smart Art Graphics. I'll click the icon for Smart Art Graphics to see a selection of graphic layouts for inserting. The types on the left help me find what I want. How about hierarchy? Several layouts that show a hierarchy are displayed. This seems like a good one. I'll double-click it to put it on the slide. A text pane appears. You can use this for typing and organizing text. I'll start with our CEO. Text that I type in this box fills the graphic and follows its hierarchy. The name typed into the list item at the top goes in the first shape in the graphic, and subordinate names go under it. I'll close this for now by clicking here. I'd like to work on the look of this graphic a little. On the ribbon, I see one of those colored tabs. 
These tabs are part of Smart Art Tools, and they help you work with all Smart Art graphics. Here on the Design tab are other styles available for the graphic. I've now given the org chart a style that rounds or bevels the top shapes. I like that. And because the org chart is no longer selected, the colored tabs I just used are hidden. And now the Home tab is redisplayed. Another way to insert a Smart Art graphic is to click Smart Art on the Insert tab. Let's pause for a second here to look at a small collection of buttons. This is the Quick Access Toolbar. Use it for frequent actions, like saving your work or undoing something. You can add other buttons to this toolbar and put it on its own row, below the ribbon. Back to the presentation. What about a look and colors for the whole show? Let's go to the Design tab. Use themes to design the slides. Earlier, you saw that the theme showed a preview when you pointed to it, giving you a handy clue about how it would look when applied to the slide. The theme colors apply to the Smart Art graphic, too. I like this one. I'd like to try different fonts, though. Let's check the fonts gallery. These sets of fonts apply to the title text and body text in the presentation. When I point to a combination of fonts, the fonts show in a preview on the slide. When I click a choice, the fonts are applied to all of the slides in the show. Now I've done some of the typical things I do to create a presentation. What about final things, like printing and previewing before I print? For these options, click the Microsoft Office button. Point to Print, and you'll see Print Preview. You get the print choices you had in earlier versions, which work the same as before. Now, I want to save my presentation. Easy. Click Save on the Quick Access Toolbar. But here's something to note. PowerPoint 2007 presentations are saved in a new format. To find out what you need to know about the new file format, click the link to the training course in the article associated with this demo. All that's left is for you to try the new version of PowerPoint yourself.